So I was looking for a way to find distinct letters in a in a string, and I thought I'd got a, a really straightforward, simple way of doing it. Um, that soon exploded into being a little bit uh, more complex. So let's have a look. Um, Taking my word in, got my magic function that's going to do all the work. Print the output. So if I run this and type in uh, hello, it will tell us there are four distinct letters in hello, H, E, L, and O. Uh, if I run this again with a semicolon, let's say, you know, dollar sign, it will ignore those and still say there's four. So we've got a working program. So let's take a look at the at the find. Okay, some variable declarations at the start, which will make sense as you go through it. The first loop here, okay, this for loop, starts at zero and goes to the end of the word. Okay, so that's just looping through the word one at a time. It takes the first letter, so that counter of the word, checks to see if it's actually a letter. If it's not, it can just ignore it. If it is a letter, it starts a new counter and goes from that position to the end of the word. So the first time through it will be all of the letters, the next time through it will be the next letter till the end, and then the next letter to the end, and so on. If if the word to find, the word we're looking for, is that character? I mark it as a as a in. It's in that word, okay. But when it comes to here, I only add it to my distinct if it appears once. Okay, so I don't add it every time it appears. So it comes down, it finds the word. If that goes round around, if that's twice, whatever, it's not going to it's not going to add it. So that means that if a letter appears, just it will only tick it off first time a letter appears or if that letter only appears once. Returns that distinct number, goes back to the main and outputs it. So this is the bit that does all the magic. Okay, there's your check for alphabetical letters, upper and lower case, so it ignores all the symbols. You loop through it the first time, the whole lot, and then this loop is from the that position onwards. So the first time you've got hello, first time it's H-E-L-L-O, the next time it's E-L-L-O, then L-L-O, then L-O, then O. So it'll only find a letter once. So there you go, finding a distinct letter in a string. Found that useful, like and subscribe. Really useful, you can always buy me a coffee.